Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to this uh, presentation where we want to look at um, the 2017 GCE Additional Mathematics Paper 1. And in this case, we're interested in just one of the questions uh, for, for vectors, just one question under vectors. In this presentation, we want to deal with vectors. All right, and this is a question. Right, so the first question says, the coordinates of these points are negative one, four, two, three, respectively. Uh, uh, Roman numeral one, let's find the, the magnitude of AB, all right? Now, there are two methods, we can go direct or we can first find AB. So AB a, can be defined uh, by AO plus OB, all right? This is our AB. All right, so what we've been given is that we have point, um, point A, which is negative one, four, and point B, which is two, three, all right? So these can be written as position vectors as A, O, negative one, four, um, O, B is uh, two, three, all right? Meaning that uh, A, B will be equal to now, this is OA, but we're dealing with the A also to be, when you introduce a negative to be one negative four, all right, plus our OB is two, three. So AB will give you three and negative one. So now getting the magnitude of this, all right, uh, getting the magnitude of that, uh, it implies therefore that the magnitude of AB will be equal to B squared plus negative one squared, everything you introduce a root. This will give you nine plus one. Uh, so therefore AB in terms of its magnitude will be the root of 10, 10 units. All right, that is AB, okay. Number two, but as well, you can get it direct. Uh, number two, we want to find the vector equation of the line AB. So the vector equation of a line B is defined by A subscript O plus AB, all right? So A subscript O means OA plus AB, all right? plus AB, <clears throat> these are very simple concepts. So the equation will be equal to our AO is negative one, four, plus, remember here, don't forget, there's need of a T, T, AB, T, AB. So I've got T, what is our AB? Our AB is three, negative one, all right? But this should be defined in terms of I, and J. So meaning that this will be equal to uh, when, because if you have got this, uh, negative one, four, this is I and this is the J. Okay, so this is negative. When you multiply negative one by I, you get negative I <clears throat> plus four by if you multiply four by J, you have four J, all right? You can put in brackets, plus you can have your T, which is a parameter. So three I minus J. And this is our, this is our equation. That is your equation. Okay. Um, B. We are asked then to find the angle between these two vectors, find the angle between these vectors. So we can say let A be equal to three I plus four J and five uh, B, sorry, to be equal to five I plus 12 J. All right, now, if we were to get the, the dot products, of A, 
and B. We know the dot product is defined as A times B times cos theta, where theta is the angle you have between these between these two vectors. So, meaning that I'll back him. Stop making noise. Uh, so um, to find the theta, which is the angle in between this, we can divide by the magnitude of A by the magnitude of B, both sides. The magnitude of B, all right? Implying therefore that cos theta will be equal to the magnitude uh, the dot product of this divided by magnitude of A by the magnitude of what? B. Okay? So now, what is our A? Our A is 3i plus 4j dot 5j plus 5i plus 4j. All right? Divided by, we need to find the magnitude of 3i plus 4j times the magnitude of 5j plus 12, 5i, sorry, plus 12j, all right? Okay, um, I think I might erase this site. All right, so I'm praying there for that. Cos theta will be equal to what? You can multiply this, all right? You multiply three by um, by I, all right? All right, so when you multiply 3i three, three by 5i, so this is going to be 15 because i squared will be taken to be 1. Don't confuse this with complex, all right? There's a proper that uh, drives this. Okay, so <clears throat> you have got 15. Then when you multiply 15, I mean 3i, by 12j, all right? Now, there's a property that if, because we know i and j are perpendicular, so when you multiply these, all right, you get zero, all right? So that will give us zero. Means we are done. Then you multiply 4j by 5i, this will produce a zero, it goes. Then you multiply 4j by 12j. This would be one then to get to give you 48 plus 48. I hope that is okay. <clears throat> then we divide this by the, the, the magnitude of that. So the magnitude of that is three squared plus four squared times 
5 squared plus 4 squared. Okay, so this implies that cos theta is equal to, um, you add that, you get, uh, I'm sure it's, you get 3, all right, then divided by the root of 9 plus 16 plus the root of the root of no, no, we are multiplying here the root of twenty five plus one forty four. So this implies that I've got a uh, cos. Theta is equal to 63 divided by uh, the root of 25 by the root of um, uh, 169. 169. So this is 63 divided by 5, 5 by 18. So this will imply that cos theta is equal to 63 divided by 65. So to find the theta, we're going to say theta is equal to cos inverse of 63 divided by 65, all right? And eventually your answer will be 14.3 degrees, okay? So that is how you're supposed to get uh, that thing. So, Please, this channel is there to solve a lot of mathematical problems, be it uh, ordinary mathematics, be it uh, um, uh, additional mathematics, be it college uh, mathematics, A levels or university mathematics, whether for degree or masters. It's there to provide that kind of solution, all right? So please subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you for this presentation. This has been PD Kamban, uh, you can contact me on 0978-56-58-76, all right? Then uh, you can also contact us on 0979-67-3809. You can contact uh, Mr. Mbondo, all right? Thank you so much. Shalom, shalom. Till next time, same place. Bye-bye. And thank you for subscribing.